Yes, phone, yes. Okay, hi again everyone, I'm back. Krita Solo 21, or Robert Dolowski. Back streaming some more Aki Beat. And today we're just gonna be, uh, pretty much I'm back. What? 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 Oh, Station Plaza. Wait, what? So we're doing some side quests, sub a events devotion. before we do the. Shall we enter? We'll do a bunch of sub events before we do the main event. You know. I have a feeling something important is about to happen yes. to. Yes, it is. So we're just trying to go in order from we'll do from Co go all the way down, and then yeah. Pardon me, Master Asahi. Might I perhaps have a moment of your time? Sure. What's up? I'm preparing an afternoon treat for the mistress. And there are a variety of ingredients I'll need She's to standing complete. right here. Man, you really are the real deal, aren't you? Not only do you look after Ko, but you even make her desserts. Attending to the mistress's many needs is my sworn duty. I'm happy to make all her meals, from breakfast through dinner. I take it then that Ko's life is pretty, uh, responsibility-free, shall we say? Do you have a problem with that? Letting someone else take care of all the little stuff suits me just fine. Don't you think you might be spoiling her, Yoshino? I feel that I'm teaching her the necessities of running a household, which may prove useful to her in the future. And I keep telling you, I don't have even the slightest intention of getting married and settling down. What? Married? Oh, yes. I've been stressing the importance of homemaking, as that may yet prove the most viable path for her. Wow, color me shocked. <laughs> Let's stop talking about me for one second and focus on what's important here. You said you needed ingredients? Oh, yes. I would appreciate us <laughs> taking a detour so I can acquire... Oh, w what's wrong? I believe I forgot to shut off the gas at the manor this morning. That's not like you. Indeed. I'm terribly sorry. If you would please allow me a moment's return to the manor, I'd be most appreciative. I'll be back as soon as I'm able. Huh, looks like she dropped something. It's a recipe. The mistress's treat. First she leaves the gas on, then she drops crucial documents? Huh, something is definitely off about Yoshino today. Maybe she's tired from being overworked so much by a thoughtless mistress? <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Either way, let's go do her shopping. It would take a load off her plate, and... I mean, it's for you anyway, right? That's true enough. And if we save time on gathering ingredients, I'll be able to get my afternoon treat sooner. Wow. You're actually going along with my suggestion? Let's not waste any time, then. To the supermarket at UBX! Haha. <laughs> Funny. Time to go to UBX! Sorry, I got distracted. <coughs> when saving, do be careful not to overwrite a sibling's data. Sorry, I got a little distracted by just reading some information, you know? Fuck you, you upstairs. Oh, no, I did it here. I didn't think it was. So, what's on the list? Onions, eggs, a bowl of udon, and some fish paste. Come again? Hey, don't look at me. That's what it says. It certainly does. What the heck kind of afternoon treat can you make from those ingredients, though? What, are you doubting Yoshino's ability? Not exactly, but something definitely doesn't add up here. Yoshino can make absolutely anything, you know. Like what? What does she normally make you? Japanese sweets, western sweets, stuff I've never even heard of before, too. Like I said, anything. Wow, the real deal all the way. <laughs> what did you expect? She is my maid. This should be everything. 
Yep, I think we're done here. Oh, no, not quite yet. There's more written down here. I've never heard of this particular spice before, though. What is spatula? Huh? What are you talking about? It's a spatula, a cooking utensil. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. So where would we find one of those? Juan Quixote's a good bet. Nearest one is on Main Street. Let's Amscray. Oh my god, she really... What is a spatula? Is that some kind of spice or something? No, it's a cooking utensil. Oh, I did not know that. A delusion scape. Shall we enter? This shop sells... Mm-hmm. All right. Now get in there and buy me a spatula. You're serious, aren't you? You really have no idea what a spatula is, do you? Just how little cooking experience do you have? Can you cook at all? Oh, how rude. Of course I can. What, like cup ramen? No, like salmon. You can grill a salmon? What are you talking about? Salmon goes in rice balls. Ah, of course. My mistake. And I'm pretty good with kelp, too. Also in rice balls, I'm guessing. Of course. What else would you do with it? Uh, a lot of things, actually. Nonsense. Seriously, just how much does Yoshino actually do for you? Everything you'd expect of a maid. She prepares my tea, makes me treats, that sort of thing. Then there's the preparing of my meals, cleaning, and of course, the laundry. Oh, and sorting and taking out the trash. That poor, poor woman. <laughs> yep. <sighs> that was quite a shopping list. No kidding. Why was all of this on there? How should I know? I just bought whatever was written down. Shampoo, conditioner, detergent, bath soap, tissues, trash bags, a scrubbing brush, toothpaste, how is any of this related to making a midday treat? What do you want from me? If it was on the list, I got it. Now let's hurry up and <coughs> carry all of this back to the manor. It's over toward Junk Street. Okay. This store simply has too varied a stock. I can't decide what to buy. Yep. When saving, do be careful um, not to overwrite yep. a sibling's data. A delusion scape. Shall we enter? Ah, it's Mr. Sharago. What a mysterious individual uh, she is. Up, hideout and castle. Let's just a pick those up. Shop. Perhaps the mistress would care to try something on? I don't have any tens yet. I still have to buy it. I'm guessing everyone has eight kick mag. Yep, everyone's got eight. Oh, great. More money to save up to spend. They do need to get those. Some more of these. Uh, I think I need. How about we upgrade our PP? Oh, young miss. Hmm, did you just get here? Suspicious. But not to worry, we did all of your shopping for you. Oh, oh my. Thank you very much, mistress. Keyword is we, so you can be pretty confident everything is right. <laughs> I could have done something like this on my own, you know. <coughs> Such ha, spirit. Ha, ha. It's wonderful to see. Spirit? Aha. Uh -huh. You planned this, didn't you? Oh, no. Nothing of the sort. I simply dropped my to-do list in my haste. After which point, you and the young miss were kind enough to take it upon yourselves to aid me in my duties. And surely it was nothing more than kindness on your parts. Oh, my. No, I totally get it now. This whole trip was a ruse to teach Ko a lesson in homemaking. Please keep your voice down. One step at a time, I always say. Hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> About you, young miss, of course. Yes, of course, my lady. Uh, next event is um, Mizuki at Junk Street. 
This shop Should sells be. PP parts. Shall we take a look? I have a feeling something yep. important is about to happen. Then Saki, and then... <coughs> what the hell? Whoa, what happened? Get the hell out of my way! Well, that was rude. Help! Somebody stole my purse! A purse snatching? Asahi, we should help. You alright, ma'am? Of course I'm not! My purse was just stolen! The man who pushed past us. Yeah, no kidding. We have to go after him. Come on, right there with you. Let's nab this scumbag! How about we upgrade our PPs while we're here? I'm A clothes good. shop. Perhaps the mistress would care to try something on? Where are, oh where is he? Hmm, no sign of him anywhere. You keep looking, Asahi. I'm gonna go ask that guy over there if he's seen anything. Pardon me, sir? Can I do something for you, son? Well, my friend and I are looking for someone. Ooh. Actually, I did see someone like that. Ran by me looking downright nasty. Did you see which way he went? Hmm? Well, if I remember correctly, it was over that way, toward UBX. UBX. Got it. Thank you very much for your help. Oh, yes. UBX, you want The guy to. says he was headed for UBX. Come on. Okay. What? Is there some reason we shouldn't? Oh, no, not at all. Let's go before he gets away. It's a safe point. Shall we make use of it before mo oh, Man, where is he? Give me a second. I'll ask around. Mizuki? Sorry to bother you, miss, but could I just have a moment of your time? Uh, sure. What can I do for you? Hey, well, I wouldn't there was a purse <laughs> snatching just a short while ago, and... Look at him go. Is that so? Interesting. Yeah, I'm certain he must be the guy. You've been extremely helpful. Thank you so much for answering my questions. More info, Asahi. The girl over there says there's someone over by the post office who's particularly shady. Huh. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, so we're off to the post office next, then? Yeah, there's no time to waste. Let's go. Okay. There he is. There he is. That's our guy. No doubt about it. He's the guy who ran past us. Let's get him. Not yet. Hold up for a second. What? Why? If he sees us, he's just gonna end up running again. But if he keeps on walking straight ahead... Then we can flank him. I get ya. Not quite what I had in mind. But that should work too. Wait, what? <sighs> he's on the move. I'll come in from the left. You take his right. Uh, okay. Found you. You stole that woman's purse, didn't you? <coughs> I'll ask you one more time. You stole a woman's purse just now, didn't you? N no. Hell no. We saw you do it. You grabbed her purse and ran off with it. No, I totally didn't. I didn't do nothing. If you didn't do anything, then why would you be barreling through the streets of Akihabara? Hey, what's all this commotion? We're trying to work in that police box. And what's this about a purse thief? Good to see you, officer. This man here just stole the woman's purse. <laughs> ah, I didn't even notice the police box. Guess that was Mizuki's original plan.
You should be able to find your stolen purse at the police box, ma'am. Wow! Thank you so much! Yep. And with that, I'd say this case is closed. I'm really impressed. That was some quick thinking there, man. I mean, starting a big argument with the culprit right in front of the cops? Genius! It's not really that Genius. big a deal. They were right nearby and all. Figured it'd be best to leave the hard part to them. Sharp as a tack. That's my Mizuki. Seriously? It wasn't all that... It's not just getting the cops. The way you asked all those people for info? You were like a seasoned detective. Hmm. Maybe. I mean, I'm no stranger to investigation. I used to do that all the time with the Freedom Fighters. But the only reason I cared so much about it back then was so you wouldn't keep beating me at everything. Beating Aww. you at everything? Maybe it's sitting around staring at stuff, but that's the best I could do. You had me topped in every other regard and really still do. Come on, quit it with that nonsense. It's not nonsense. And besides, while you were learning all that stuff, you got to have all kinds of adventures. Yeah, I suppose you're right. The Aki Hopper of Freedom Fighters really helped out a lot of people, didn't they? That was Boss's policy. And I'm sure it's the same for Saki. Boss wasn't quite as goofy as he seemed, was he? Oh, no, he was. He could be downright airheaded at times. But you guys always found a way to make people's lives better. No matter how futile it may have been. Futile? Well, the world is looping, so... You know, all the stuff you guys fixed ultimately unfixed itself, right? That's true. But we kept on fixing those issues every day, just in case. Nothing wrong with that, right? Oh, no, not at all. Anyway, we should go tell Akemi about the purse snatching, so it can be added to her time loop cleanup plans. Yeah, it's not a major incident, but keeping it from happening again would probably be for the best. Let's mm -hmm. go. His freedom fighters really were good people, weren't they? New hat. This shop sells PP parts. Shall we take a look? Uh, I have two on Junk Street. Oh, um, uh, we're not Junk Street, Main Street. What the fuck? How many cycle? I got side quests left days. Cause the next one I should go to is Saki at uh, um, Electrical Town. So why not? I hit Station Plaza. You stupid idiot, me. I am stupid. Why did I do that? Business in the Delusion Scape. Please be well prepared. It's a safe point. Shall we make use of Who's it before moving on? Bam! Saki, got it right away. Bam! Leech busters. <laughs> hey, Asahi. What's up with that girl over there? She seems pretty distraught, yeah. Wonder what's wrong. I'm gonna go check. What? Hey, wait a sec! Excuse me, is something wrong? <laughs> it's all right. She's cool, honest. A little nosy, but that's nothing to get. F uh, a s <laughs> whatever it is, it'll be okay. There, there. If you're in trouble, I want to help. <laughs> really? Okay. Earlier, some guy was trying to to hit on me. Uh oh. Was he creepy? Yeah. He was so aggressive it really freaked me out say no more some dude threatening a sweet seeming girl like you is something i honestly i'd heard stories but i didn't think that sort of thing really happened all that much in akihabara it really doesn't usually but lately i guess incidences have been on the rise a little female otaku in particular are targeted a lot usually by scummy guys pulling the old photo shoot scam they think nerdy girls are too shy or weak-willed to say no so they single them out and accost them on the street. What? That's the lowest of low. Excuse me, miss. Where was it that this guy tried to hit on you? Um, well, it was on Main Street, just as I was leaving Animart. Got it. Wait, you're not actually thinking of... Come, Asahi. We're going to teach that guy a lesson, then boot him out of Akihabara so he can think about what he did. 
come, Asahi? Am I your manservant now? Seriously, wait up! Uh, the, the. Over to UBX, best way to travel, you know. Don't need to get that anymore. Oh, a save point. Shall we take a break? <clears throat> Business in the delusion. No. This should be the place. Hmm. Don't see any sleaze buckets around, at least at a glance. We have to look harder. He may be hiding in the shadows, waiting to pounce. Let's ask around. Maybe somebody's seen him. <sighs> Shall we purchase trading cards? Remember, we all make our own oh. luck. Uh, okay. Come on, game. Okay. Thank you. Squeaky chair. Excuse me, but do you have a moment? Huh? S sure, I guess. What is it? Have you seen a super aggressive, flirty guy around here? Oh, yes! He was trying to get all up in my business. Uh, come again? It was a total pain. He was hella persistent, even though I told him I'm not interested in guys. Did you see where he went? I don't know. He just left. And I was like, good riddance, you duck and duck face. Autocorrect. Hmm, alright. Thanks for the tip. Good to know we're at least on the right track. Asahi, let's keep looking. As you wish. Uh, before you go... Hmm? Here, take this. What is it? It's my email address. I'd kind of like to get yours, too, so we can hook up sometime. What? I mean, are you sure? Like, for real? Seems to me we may have found our creeper after all, and his name's Asahi. Um, not that I don't appreciate the thought, but seriously, me? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm cool with it. It's just... No, I mean, what are you talking about? It's not you I'm interested in. I want her address. Me? Um, <laughs> do you mind if I drop you a line? I'd like to chat with you a little. You're just, uh, exactly my type. Maybe if we hit it off, we could go grab a bite sometime. <laughs> or something? Uh, I... What? <laughs> I'm not good enough for you. I get it. No, I... I mean, you... I'm sorry! Hey, wait! Using the old not interested in guys excuse and actually meaning it? Gotta say, I did not see that coming. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo, we found one of those. Wow. Hey, hey sorry to bug you, but do you have a sec? Uh, not again. Again? I already told you, I'm not interested. Oh, no, I'm not hitting on you. Yeah, I've heard that before. Pretend like you're not interested, then BAM! The debauching begins. Is that it? Uh, I'm sorry. He's really not trying to flirt with you. Please, calm down. Already got a girlfriend, huh? That's even worse! I... girlfriend? You are totally misreading this situation. Does that mean... You think I look cute? Like I'm on a date? And you, stop blushing, damn it. Blushing? Who's blushing? I'm just sunstroking. Yes, that's it. I'm in serious medical danger. Oh, please. You two are clearly a thang. Look, I'm not hitting on you, and we are not a thang. We're trying to track down the guy who is hitting on people. That's right. He's extremely aggressive and has been seen in this area. And I'm guessing he tried his hand on you, too. Oh, well, why didn't you say so sooner? Sorry to have been on the defensive there. It's quite all right. I understand, believe me. Anyway, do you have any idea where Mr. Sleazeball might have gone? Hmm. Where did he go? I think he was headed off toward Junk Street. I'm not super sure, though. Sorry. Oh, no problem. Any lead puts us ahead of where we were before. Thanks for your time. No, no, think nothing of it. Anyway, have fun on your date, you two. Uh, no, we are not dating. You hear me? Not dating. Oh, come on, let's just go. Sure. 
You two aren't dating. It's a safe point. Shall we make use of it before moving on? Oh, I always say it when I cross that road. It looks like I'm gonna get hit by hit by a car or something. It's like crossing. Oh god, I'm gonna get hit. Uh, oh. hello. Huh? What can I do for you, mistress? You wouldn't happen to have been accosted by a sleazy pickup artist around here, would you? A pickup artist? Hmm. I don't think so. No, I don't remember anyone like that. Voice sounds from familiar, that's why. Hmm. I don't know. Alright, thank you. Oh, wait, wait. Actually, there was some guy coming on to me pretty hard on Junk Street a while back. On Junk Street? Here I thought we finally found someone who emerged unscathed, but no such luck. What is happening to Akiba nowadays? You don't by any chance remember what kind of guy he was, do you? Uh-uh. I'm afraid I don't. I was ignoring him super hard, so he wound up going someplace else. But he was so persistent. He must have followed me for like a hundred meters. It was such a pain. Dude needs to take a look at himself in the mirror and ask himself why he thinks he can talk to me. Uh, but you're a maid. Well, yeah, but I mean, I'm not talking to a guy who's three-dimensional. That's just one too many dimensions, you know? You got what I'm saying, right? Uh, uh... It's like, why isn't this world two-dimensional? You feel me? You do feel me, don't you? I, uh... <sighs> I want to go into the world of 2D. That's the only place I really belong. <laughs> well, good luck. I hope you can find a way to get Sorry there. Sorry about that, guys. Let's go, Asagi. We actually missed the whole conversation. It's time to someone. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. I think we've got enough info to go on. Let's take this investigation to Junk Street, shall we? Are you seriously serious about tracking this guy down and confronting him? Of course I am. Now come on, there's no time to lose. Yeah, yeah. Straight ahead, yay. And who will we find? Actually, no one. No, there he is. Hey, check that guy out. Which one? That guy with the smartphone. Doesn't it look like he's staring a little too intently at the girls around here? Um, maybe? You should go over there. We're going to hit him with a sting operation, and you can be the bait. The bait? Asahi, what are you... Damn it, Asahi, we didn't discuss this. Excuse me. Who, me? Yes, you. Do you think you could give me some directions? Directions? You see, this is my first time in Akihabara, and I'm a bit lost. And when I get lost, I get <laughs> flustered. Uh, okay. So, where is it you were wanting to go? Well, I'm trying to get to the station. Can you tell me what direction that's in? Oh, sure. Just the main Akihabara station, right? That's the one. Okay, that's easy. You just... Oh, sorry, my mistake. It's not Akihabara Station. It's... What was it again? Oh, yes. Ochanamizu Station. All right. In that case, you'll want to head to Akiba Shrine, then just go straight from there. Can't miss it. Akiba Shrine? Where's that? Um, it's just right down this road. You know, I'd feel much better if you showed me the way there, if it's not too much of an inconvenience. Well, okay. I guess I can do that. It's not far, so... Hold it right there! A Asahi? A guy? Saki, you are far too naive. What? What do you mean? Oh, hell. This is our pickup artist. He asks women for directions, gets them to show him around, then charms them along the way. What? <laughs> I'm right, aren't I? You've got that smartphone. Can't you just pull up a map or ask Seely to guide you? Uh, uh, no, I can't. My battery's almost dead. Oh, I see. Well, then how about I just show you the way? Ochanamizu Station, right? Follow me, sir. Uh, no. That's quite all right. I'm good. I've suddenly remembered some urgent business I need to attend to. See? I didn't even realize. I just saved your butt. 
or your virtue, anyway. How about a little thanks? Oh, no, no, no. You were the one who sent me out as bait in the first place. It's all your fault I got mixed up with that guy. What? N no, that's not... You are the worst. No, I... You wanted... You were... Yes, yes, it's fine now. And I suppose we did succeed in sending that guy packing, so something good came of it. Let's go tell the girl at the station the good news, assuming she's still there. <clears throat> Is that all the thanks I'm going to get? Sheesh. Why do I even bother sometimes? I don't know. Jump to Electric Town. Oh, a save point. Shall we take a... Oh, hey, it's you guys. No need to look so gloomy. We've got good news. We got him. The guy who tried to pick you up has been booted from Akihabara at long last. R really? So I can finally take my time and shop till I drop without having to get skeeved on by that creeper again? Thank you both so much. You're very welcome. Now go and enjoy your shopping skis free. And um, what do I get? Guess that I takes care of that. We should probably report in with Akemi, so she and her sources can keep an eye out for that guy. You know, all this ledger busting has made me hungry. I could really go for a bite to eat. A bite to eat, you say? Well, pretty miss, what sort of heavenly ambrosia can I treat you to? Uh, Pinkoon? What's gotten into you? I'm practicing my pickup line. Pretty smooth, eh? You're a floating pink puff. You'd stand a marginally better chance hitting on someone's pet. Yeah. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Uh, funny. Uh, another one's right here. I think it's Ko. I have a feeling something important is about to happen. Yes, it was. Hey, Asahi. You've got some time now, right? I demand you tell me you do. What's gotten into you all of a sudden? I'm looking Renji. for a few things. Take Yamato. me somewhere where I can buy chopsticks and soup bowls. Well, this is a surprise. No back talk. Just hurry up and lead the way. If you're that desperate, let's just go to Etri over there. They should have you covered. I already checked there. Isn't there any place else you can think of? <sighs> Sweetie it's chair. We're specifically looking for Japanese-style stuff, right? That's the idea. Then how about we ask Yoshino? She seems like a pretty traditional kind of person. I'm sure she knows a good spot. No, she's no good. She may not seem it, but she's actually into Western-style things. Really now? Yes. If I say so, it must be true. And you have to believe me. Okay. Guess we'll just have to ask around and see if we can't find someone with a flair for the traditional. Yes, traditional. And um, we're going to Side Street. Shall we purchase trading cards? Remember, we all make our own luck. Across the street here. Trading cards are for more than just trading. You'd be surprised. A delusion scape. Shall we enter? Boop. Um, excuse me. Hi, Japanese person. Why are you asking a tourist? Think about it. If anybody's going to know where to buy traditional knickknacks, it's tourists, right? <laughs> I suppose. Okay, riddle me this. Do you know of any good places around here that sell traditional Japanese things? Oh ho! You are Totemo Nadeshiko Yamato. With long black hair, you are quintessential Totemo Japanese lady. What? So super kawaii. Can we take a picture together? Daijobo desuka? We're getting nowhere here. Oh no! Warui Warui! I don't have time for your games. Do you know a good store or not? If you know one, spill it. Yes, I Wakaru. Totally Wakaru. I do Kaimono at Duty Free Shop not long ago. I see. A duty free store, hmm? 
on Main Michi is Totemo Goods Store. Name is called Wacky, doesn't it? Let's go, Asahi. Sayonara, Nadeshiko Yamato. <laughs> Domo arigato, Mr. Yamato. <laughs> That's funny. Ah, uh, funny, funny, funny. Funs, funs, funs. This place seems like it'll have what I need. Whoa, slow down, babe. <laughs> nope, not there. <sighs> that was fast. Why wouldn't it be? It's not like I don't know what she's into. Wait, are you buying a present for someone? No, uh, forget that I said anything. L let's just keep looking. Any more ideas? Hmm, let me think. How about some place on Junk Street? Can't imagine there's not a good spot there. Junk Street we go. Almost twelve, oh, please. A save point. Um. Shall we take a break? Business Ash. in the delusion scape? Please be well prepared. It's a clothing store. Shark. Hey, you customers. Step right up. Now here's someone you can buy anything from. Do you sell any traditional Japanese items? Chopsticks, bowls, that kind of thing? Of course, of course. For the right price, I got all kinds of goodies. Okay, let's see what you've got then. Well, for starters, there's this beauty of a teacup from the Sengoku era, styled all pretty with gold leaf to boot. Ugh, tacky. Couldn't agree more. Oh, how about this? A Heian era folding screen. And signed, even. Eh, not what I'm looking for. All right. Got just the thing. A statue of the Buddha from the Kamakura period. It'll leave you wanting for nothing. Totally out of the question. <sighs> if I can't fleece you, then why am I talking to you at all? Sorry about all this, Shariko. Ko, what in the world are you looking for? <laughs> Pretty much anything is fine. Come on, Asahi, let's head back to Etri by the station. What? We're just gonna slink right back to where we started? Do you have a problem with that? Actually, yes. But whatever. I don't even care anymore. Let's just get this over with. I do, but I don't a really care. A clothes shop. Perhaps the mistress would care to try something on? Electrical town. Save point. Shall we take a break? Well, here we are. You not going in? Oh, I'm not sure. I mean, is it really worth going back into the same store again? I'm not going to find anything. Look, this is obviously a really important gift you're buying if you're this worried about finding the right thing. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't misunderstand me, thank you. When did I say I was buying a gift for someone? You didn't. Your actions did. I just felt like getting a little walking in, that's all. But all this wild goose chasing has done is make me hungry. Not to worry, mistress. I have prepared a midday treat for you, specifically formulated for maximum re-energizing. Splendid. What is it? Manju cakes. Served with traditional green tea to wash them down. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I believe I'll partake right now. Do enjoy, mistress. Manju and green tea, huh? That doesn't sound very Western to me. Ko was totally looking for something to give Yoshino, wasn't she? Yep. But she didn't want to say it out loud. Only one more chapter with Ko. Okay, let's we go. We got one here, Station Plaza. We got two over here. I guess I'm gonna do this one here. Most buy. Trading but cards are for more than just trading. You'd be surprised. I do. Good. How about we upgrade our PPs while we're here? 
Renji. Chapter 6 The Fragrance of Dark Coffee. Dark Coffee. Ah, right. Guess that cafe closed down, huh? Something about this area strike your fancy? A couple years back, my usual cafe was around here. Used to come by now and then with Mari. Ooh, on date? Been a while since I last had coffee in a place like that. Sure wish I could experience that again. You can get coffee anywhere, though. I'm not just looking for any old cup. I've got a very specific craving right now. No problem. I know a few good spots. I'll show you around a little. All right, if you think you can. Where to? Mediators is a good start. It's over along the side streets. All right, there we go. Side streets we go. Isn't that the May Cafe, though? When saving, do be careful not to overwrite a sibling's data. Business in the d Hmm. Here we are. You can't be serious. This is a maid cafe. Moe, care to give him the talk? Understood. Our coffee, the pride of our cafe, is a fresh roast imported direct from Guatemala. It's sourced from group cooperatives and farmed locally to ensure a consistent level of high quality. Furthermore, the hard beans ground to create every cup are grown at an elevation of more than 1,350 meters. With just the right amount of sweetness and smooth drinkability, its flavor is exceedingly marvelous. Now is that a pitch, or is that a pitch? I'm sure it's very good, but I don't think you're quite understanding what I'm looking for, Asahi. I'm... Not? An instant coffee simply cannot compare. With its rich aroma and full-bodied flavor, this is a coffee you can savor. Look, I'm not knocking the coffee. It sounds great, really. Then how about trying a cup while you're here? I appreciate the offer, miss. I'm sure it's the best damned coffee in the world, but it's just not what I'm looking for. I'm sorry to hear it. Should you change your mind, though, you'll always be welcome in our caffeinated nirvana. And I thought this was the perfect chance to drop in for a visit, too. But, but, Reggie, what kind of coffee are you looking for, then? Like I said, I've got a very distinct craving. I want the coffee I used to drink way back when. Aha! Uh -huh. I've got it! You do? There's only one possible destination for lovers of classic coffee flavors. To the station plaza! Stat! Okay, back to the station plaza. Station Plaza, here we A come. Delusionscape. Shall we enter? And I immediately walk into a dead end. Business in the Delusionscape? Please be well prepared. You know what? That's what I just thought. Um, That was wrong button. I wanted to do something else. Uh, I wanted to put Ko as the leader. Um... Sure, I'll do that. Uh, Sahi, what the hell is this? Doesn't it just scream back in those days to you? It's the Motionable Suit Dundum Cafe. I figured coffee at the old Dundum Cafe would totally take you back to your rock and robot filled youth. Even I don't think this is really what he meant. Not even close. It's not, but this place is super fun. They show a slideshow of classic images inside, and it's super comfy, and the coffee is delicious, too. Comfort is hardly a priority for me right now. Huh? What do you mean? Use your brain, kid. It's the coffee I'm nostalgic for, not some anime. Um... Now, now, Asahi, you tried. Uh, no, I got this. I'm going to find Reiji his wistful flavor if it's the last thing I do. Uh, you are? Of course. No matter what, we're going to find the coffee shop of his dreams. I guess that means I gotta go with you again, huh? Yes, sirree. 
There. You satisfied now? Damn. Not even here, huh? Well, where should we go next? Nowhere. We've been to literally every place I know. In the end, we couldn't help slake Reiji's thirst for coffee. We couldn't do anything. We were powerless. I've got no strength left. No strength at all. No matter what I do, it all just rolls back to zero. Um, Asahi? I told you, I'm looking for the same experience I had way back when. How far back are you talking? You're not that old. Oh, um, Reiji, you mean back when you were with the DAB? Yeah, you getting at something? I see. It's just as I thought then. What's on your mind, Mippity? I figured out what Reiji is looking for. You have? It's not about the coffee, but the person he used to drink the coffee with, right? Good thing at least one of you is reasonably perceptive. Oh ho, so it's not coffee you're after, but hot coffee. Not even gonna dignify that with a response. What I want is something I can never have again. Some one-on-one -on -one coffee time. The experience, not the drink. That same feeling of comfort and contentedness, which is now just a distant memory. You okay, Reiji? Reiji, may I ask you a question? What is it? What kind of dates did you and Mari go on? Pretty ordinary ones. We went to the movies, went out to eat, toured aquariums, that sort of thing. Wow, those sound like surprisingly normal dates. Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I was just curious what kind of dates an adult woman like Mari might go on. Ah, studying up for our future, are we? <laughs> movies, aquariums, that's child's play. There's nothing adult about dates like that. Uh, Yamato? Now listen here, Pipsqueak. The stuff that's fun when you're a kid won't suddenly become less fun when you grow up. Child's play and kid stuff are just terms invented by lame-ass kids who think they're too cool for school. What? What did you just say? Yamato, what are you even doing here? Ha. Huh. He appeared out of nowhere, like an RKL. Uh, next two are here. Because I want to see. Let's just check something. So I have Yamato's and Ryu's left. So actually, okay. Well, actually, I could just walk pretty much over there, huh? <sighs> yes, I'm a little tired. For some reason. Or another. A delusion scape. Shall we enter? Ah, uh, where are they? There. A delusion scape. Shall we enter? Yes, reuse. I'm gonna do reuse first and then Yamato's. Chapter 6 Idle Training. Oh, tell me again. It is an old goggles. What's up, man? Hmm? What? Um, Mippity? Uh, did, did you say Mippity? Wait, are you that... Oh, I never did properly thank you for what you did back there. So, thanks. Huh? Something wrong? You look a little down. N no, uh, um... It's, it's just... just... If something's wrong and you're willing to tell me about it, let me help you. Consider it a token of my appreciation. Uh, okay. I'm uh, upset because people were saying unkind things about Mippity when I tried to tell them about her. Huh? Like what? We've never heard of any idol like that, they said. It's so... so frustrating. I see. So you're upset because people were dismissing her. Mippity is number one in my heart. I have eyes for no other idols. But uh, I suppose she really isn't known in the world at large. Well, these days, idols are a ten yen piece a dozen, so that's really no surprise. But what r really bothers me is that there's n nothing I can say to them in response. What do you mean? In terms of both singing and dancing, there are plenty of idols who are m more skilled than my Mippity. But I l like her anyway. I always will. I just 
take that when someone speaks down about her, I have no comeback. Wow. I had no idea your um, love for her ran so um, deep. Uh, of course it does. But if I c can't defend her to these n naysayers, then I can never truly face her. Some fan I am. I wouldn't worry too much, Goggles. It's like you said before. I want her to climb those stairs one by one. The stairs of her own Cinderella story. One step at a time. At the pace she's most comfortable with. And I'll be rooting for her every step she takes. Anyone who wants to see Nippity succeed that badly is someone I can respect. And I'll do whatever I can to help. Huh? You will? Like, what though? What else? We'll train Mippity to be a top-tier idol, of course. What? So stand up proud, Goggles. Um, but... Sure, we can't do it all at once. But we'll climb one step at a time until we can get her the gold. You just leave the nitty-gritty to me. So you ready? Come on, we've got an idol to market. Hey, wait! Uh, he already left, huh? How in the world does he expect us to make Mippity a top idol? Magic. Possibly. Oh, Asahi! What are you doing hiding out in a place like this? Huh? Oh, I see. Not too keen on being spotted downtown by that hardcore fan of yours, huh? Um, well, yes, that's exactly right. What did he want from you, anyway? Well... But if I c can't defend her to these n naysayers, then I can never truly face her. Pretty fanboyish stuff, really. So? What did you do? Uh, well, we talked about helping you out. Which we're going to do by taking steps to make you a master idol. Huh? What are you talking about? Where did that idea come from? Now let's see. If we were going to make you into a top idol, singing and dancing should be our primary focus. Okay, first up we stretch those vocal cords. Should be a karaoke box on Main Street called Singoku Basara. Come on! Salt Street. It's a safe point. Shall we make use of it before moving on? All right, here we are. Now sing! Sing, my little bunny rabbit! Sing! Um, Asahi? What's gotten into you? I made a promise. A promise to Goggles. A promise? That was actually pretty fun. I sing my brains out. You sure did. What was that first song again? Summer Scenes of Akiba Street. It's super famous. Is that an Anka song? That's right. Singing in traditional Kobushi style is really good practice. And the second one? That one was Reeks Like Pubescent Ghost. Idols cover grunge rock? Any song with that much shouting creates just the kind of mood an idol lives for. So this is really how idols practice their singing? Pretty hard to believe. Huh? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Let's just go get our dance on, shall we? Aww. But I'm really not very good. Which means it's Saki's time to shine. Oh, hi! What? Saki, you can dance? You bet. I mean, I'm not ready to dance with any stars or anything, but I've got my fair share of experience. So what are we dawdling around here for? Let's do this thing. The station plaza seems like a big enough space to me. Business in the delusionscape? Please be well prepared. Station plaza, here we come. A delusionscape. Shall we enter? Right, we've got all the space we need. Let's go nuts, people! I'm gonna get down with my bad self. Yeah.
Yeah, Mippity, you can do it. <sighs> okay, I'm totally toasted. Yeah, that was quite a workout, Ryu. You sure made some big strides, though. And now you're one step closer to becoming a champion idol. Soul Patrol. I've still got a long road ahead of me, though. We'll help you make it all the way. I know you can do it, Mippity. Thank you. But, uh, Asahi? Why are you suddenly so keen on training Ryu? What happened? Oh, let's just call it a gentleman's agreement. You can do it, Mippity. Uh, watching from the shadows. Uh, someone's blazing music way high. It's a safe point. Yep. Shall we make use of it before moving on? Music playing in the back. I can hear it, but I don't know if my mic can pick it up. Business if it is, and wow. Escape? Please be well prepared. Yamato! Should be the final side quest. We'll double check to make sure. Hey, Blondie, you got a staring problem? Huh? Heh. <laughs> That's what you sound like. You eyeballing me, punk? I'm not eyeballing anyone. If anyone's got a problem here, it's you. <laughs> Let's get away from this loser, Tachibana. Hey, hey. Hey, Yamato! Oh, I'm gonna remember this. And you're gonna wish I didn't. <sighs> what was that dude's problem? Well, I mean, you did have a pretty unpleasant look on your face. Come off it, man. There they are, Aniki. The punks that were giving me the stink eye. Oh, give me a break. Isn't that the dude from before? Uh, it looks like he brought a larger, scarier buddy. <laughs> Yo, Tachibana. Get us someplace without too many people. Sounds like you've got a plan. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna kick their asses, that's what. Look at us. A pair of guys getting into trouble on the cold, lonely streets. You seem like you're enjoying, enjoying this, this highly unenjoyable situation. <laughs> As if. Just hurry up and get us somewhere that isn't here, okay? If we don't want to throw down in front of a crowd, our best bet would probably be Junk Street. Shall we? Bro! They're getting away! Bro! They're getting away! Bro! They're getting away! Let's go kick the butts! Haha. <laughs> um... Uh, okay. This place sparse enough? God, someone no. is just blaring the if we damn were to music. Fight here, there's still a chance an Akihabara citizen could get caught in the crossfire. Oh, and we're not Akihabara citizens? Yamato, I'm not exactly sure you grasp the general badness of this situation. I refuse to let innocent people suffer the fallout of our actions. I couldn't live with myself if someone got hurt. And he's in his own world. Swell. Okay, hero. If this is too crowded, let's get moving. Those guys are coming and they look angry. Let's slip onto the side streets. Yes, the side streets we shall. Well, I can just walk over there, you know. This shop sells PP parts. Shall we take a look? <laughs> yeah, if we had money. <laughs> oh. So how about it? Can these be the side streets of rage? I'm afraid not. There's still too much risk of collateral damage here. We need someplace safer. How are you having so much fun? You realize we're not characters in some manga or anything, right? How much more plainly can I put this? Those guys are trying to kick our asses, and they may very well succeed. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
We wouldn't even be in this mess if your dirty look hadn't set them off in the first place. This is on you, man. It'll be fine if you hurry up and get us someplace without any people. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Maybe there'll be a lull somewhere around UBX. UBX, here we come. It's a safe point. Shall we make use of it before moving on? To the far corners. Do I have to go up top? How's this strike your fan? Relatively few people, wide open space. Yeah, I don't see this place posing us any problems. Plus, there's a police box close by. What was that? I didn't say anything. We finally caught up with ya. So, you're the punks who've been staring down my sweet little bud. Oh, nope, nope, not me. No nasty looks here. It was all that guy. Him and him alone. What the hell, Tachibana? I mean, it is the truth. <sighs> Fine. I don't need you anyway. Hey, assholes! I'm gonna make you regret that you ever caught up with me. What? We wouldn't be doing this if you hadn't been scowling at me in the first place. You Yakuza kid. Do I look like Yakuza? Well, just in case you are, we brought a couple of pals. Sorry to keep you waiting, bub. This the brat with the snake eyes? I'll take all you losers on. Come at me! Yamato, quit pretending you're tough and let's get the hell out of here! What are you talking about? You are going to be crawling out of here, you dig? Ah, they're multiplying! <sighs> We're outnumbered. I was trying to tell you that two miscreants ago. This is going to get messy by default. No way of knowing until we try. You twerps got a death wish? Uh, Yamato? What's he doing? Man, are you dead? He's clearly coming at us with a butterfly knife. I meant, why is he coming at us with a butterfly knife? You know what? Screw it. Let's just run! Oh, you think we're gonna let you run now? After all that big talk? Mistakes were made? Permit me to take the mantle from this ever-derailing iron beast. Oh, it's him. You! Long have I watched you, composer. Are you here to save us? Ye should flee this place. S sounds like a plan to me. Come on, Yamato, let's make like a tree and get the hell out of here. But I... Shut up and move. Just head for the station. We'll lose them in the crowd. Now doth ye desire trial by combat, or doth ye concede? Oh, you want to go now too? We're down to throw. Let's go, yo, macho! <sighs> Ye be fools, every last soul. Yep. Station Plaza? Yep. Pretty much figured. Figured. I think we're safe now. Also, I'm sorry. I didn't exactly help with the situation back there. Eh, takes more than a little knife to scare me. Speaking of, do you think that guy's okay? I mean, the mob leader dude was pretty pissed and had an actual weapon. Though I guess your boy does have that crazy... X thing, so he's probably fine. Plus, he's got some kind of demonic eye hidden under those bangs, so it's the gangsters who might be in trouble. With bangs that long, he probably can't see a thing. Wait a minute. That's gotta be it. What's gotta be what? Bad eyesight. Yamato, can you read the letters on that sign over there? No. I knew it. Your eyes are bad, aren't they? That's why you gave that guy the showdown at high noon squint. <laughs> Too many late nights watching anime in the dark? Pretty much. 
I'm not about to turn the lights on when my brother and sister are sleeping. Hold on. Did you just not deny that you watch anime? I'd say that ship has sailed. She got that right. But you also just totally confirmed my sweet big brother theory. Quit while you're ahead, please. Are they still watching the house for you, even now? Yeah, they are. Don't you guys have any parents? No, we do. It's just that they're pretty much always busy with work. They get home real late, so it sort of fell on me to take care of the duo. It's actually why I never moved on from my anime watching days like most people do. What do you mean? Well, I'd go to school during the day, deal with clubs after school, then go home and make dinner for the kids. I was always super late by the time I could relax. And that was the slippery slope that pulled me back in. I just turn on the TV to unwind, and what did I see? But boys and girls saving the world. None of the shows were anything special, but for me, the mere act of watching anime was like a long-awaited reunion. A reunion? Yeah. Between two me's. The hard-working big brother, and the kid who used to get lost in his love for all this stuff. But once I was re-hooked, I was hooked hard. Rented all the classics from all the greats. Everything worth seeing. I've never had anyone to talk about them with, though. I can't bear to tell my friends that I like anime and stuff. You can't? Hell no. Not if I don't want to be laughed at and ostracized. Otaku are criminals in training, remember? You know, I think I kind of understand you, Yamato. <laughs> Took you long enough. I hid my interests from everyone, but no point in keeping them secret any longer. I just want to talk about the stuff I like. Anime, manga, trading cards, all of it. After all, my interests are a part of me. They're the light that keeps me going. Wow. I don't know what to say. I'm just glad I had someone to teach me that very important lesson. Oh, no kidding. Who was that? My money's on a Kemi. Yeah, gotta be a Kemi. Maybe you're better off not knowing. Huh? Anyway, let's get out of here, Tachibana. We got places to go and things to do. Hey, 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 hold up! Yamato! And thus, the time of awakening draws on apace. Two marine caps I have now. Okay, we. I'm gonna double check our some events, see if they're pretty much caught up to everything I've gotten so far. Okay. Um. No. Records. Uh. No. Event. Sub. So I had a Saki, so I should be Chapter Five, yes. Chapter five, yes I did. Akimi Second one, yes. Supplement Ryu I had number six. Yes I was. I know that by fact. Mizuki number two it was, Rosina. Yes, Renji number six, yep. And then Ko number seven, so one left for her. And that's about it, right? Yamato, and then well, Mizuki three will be uh, anywhere, and then Sasuke, Saki will be later on. All right. So we're going to go try the fight club, you know, that my club star, I should say. And try the training. See what kind of prizes we win. And see how good I am. It's a safe point. Shall we make use of it before moving on? A oh, plus I'll, escape. Shall we enter? Plus I'll be using Moe because Moe is good. I think you can't use any items during this. How about we upgrade our PPs while we're here? No, I'm good. When saving, do be careful not to overwrite a sibling's Group. data. Ah, uh, Moe. <sighs> wow, look at that money I get. Level 50 plus. Should I use... I can. Nah, you know what? Yellow. 
as I say. You're low, mate. Did it crash? No. A full it's house today. We oh. seem to be quite you are in my <laughs> no, you die already! No <laughs> Encounter. So many customers. Can we truly serve them all? Got dragon. Here we go. 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 Here we go.
help? God, look at the spear and some money. Nothing to it. Am I shimmering? As expected. Can't wait to try this. Level up! Yay! My true strength. I'm seriously scared. Revive her. Okay, wow, that's actually pretty good. Group battle. Uh, Moe, again. Uh, silver and eight fights. First time, Omega Guard. Money is pretty much uh, good. Wait, that's how much money I have? Oh wow, I do. Um. Shall we stock up on items? No, I think we shall end it here. End the stream here. You don't want to see me guys leveling up like crazy. <laughs> or you probably will. But yeah, I'm gonna end the stream here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this another stream. Uh. Aki Bar Aki Aki Beats. I failed the name, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this another stream of Aki B and I will see you guys next time. Bye now. I don't like him. Bye.